Hey everyone, it's the sound couple and uh, we um, are on day number five here uh, in a row and we actually forgot to do our traditional intro in the vehicle video. That's okay, there's no law saying we have to do that. But we're back at this venue that we were at a couple, couple weeks, yeah, three weeks ago. The different band though this time. Um, we differences we don't have a stage which is nice so then we can uh, frame it as we need to yeah i think we're gonna have enough room it's a 10-piece band another horn band um and one thing we're trying out is we're trying out these new speaker stands or rock bills and i think they're gonna be okay this is a little bit overkill for this room but um in theory these, see these speakers are 50, ah, uh, darn it, I don't, I'll get the specs when I do the video, but anyway, they're rated for, for stacking two of these. We had some other ones that didn't work out, the, the threads got a little stripped. Regardless, uh, this is a lot of weight on this. It makes me a little bit nervous, um, especially if somebody was to come tripping into it, which is always a, is always a uh, a risk and that's true with any cabinet but um, I think um, so this is more of a test not out of necessity uh, this room doesn't need both these but I can always turn things down um, but we just want to have an option for one sub and two speakers and um, I think these stands will will work out um, all right we'll uh, check in with you later the other thing we did is we Technically should have had another monitor, uh, but we got ear mixes. We'll be using those again today. So we'll be able to cover it with ear mixes, but we just didn't do our inventory check well and enough. And remember in the sound couple, if something's forgotten, it's always my fault. <laughs> I blame myself. It was a joint effort. All right, we are well on our way. Um, I just wanted to kind of show you through the ear mixes here. So for tonight, we are using, there's some subs. So we're not using all of them, but we're using three of them, four of them. And yeah, we got a brand new one over there in the box. We're gonna be using on drums. Um, but anyway, so how we do this is, we have two of the SW5E switches. So there's one here in the rack and one of them is being used up for the for the microphones with the uh, ABB to Dante to ABBD converter. We got one going for stage boxes and this one is running over to that ear mix that first unit over there. So the benefit of running them off the switch is that we can go um, we can do the power over ethernet so we don't have to run uh, a separate power cable but not a big deal if we need to. Then we are running into the NSB out of the rack over there. And then we're going from the NSB into an ear mix switch right here. And then from the ear mix switch, we are going to the other NSB. The cool thing is if we wanted to, and we've, we've actually done this a lot where now if we had another ear mix unit, we can go, we can go right out port B here, but these do not have PoE. So we'd have to run a uh, run additional power, which you know is right here. But since we're running straight into the uh, SW5E, it's provi providing the power for this. Um, yeah, so it works out pretty well. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all hooked up. Okay, we got, we are working on getting the stage wired. Well, we got the stage wired. We just need to do a signal check. So just turn on the system, that's working. We did a light check. Um, we gotta double check and make sure everything is blue on the ear mixes. And I think we're good to go, hopefully. And we're gonna, they're gonna be doing an extended sound check going over some, going over some tunes, so. Um, we'll get that up and going and we'll do some sound check videos. Oh, I think it's a
subs and you know I get it this room is pretty acoustically challenging and I assume they would just be able to hear off the monitors but um, so we're gonna actually get it the keyboard player has a monitor we're gonna actually provide to the guitar player We've got an ear mix here then the bass player wanted one so we did have one for that for him so it's kind of an ear mix night and unfortunately I could have used one more that uh, is sitting at home. But so we got five ear mix units that we're using tonight for the band. And um, all running off the Personas 32R in the rack here. Um, so we actually have a few hours yet to the band plays, but the ceremony was at this location as well. So we needed to be set up. Get another monitor here from the keyboard player because he had to do the service so it actually sounds pretty damn good it's a little behringer and that'll work out good but one of the caveats i wanted to make is that we have to be out in an hour so that was part of our thinking when we were like well what are we bringing uh, for gear and all of that because usually we do bring you know well, we know more, and now in this case, we got four subs tonight in this band. So we were dealing with that unknown, and then with a couple with the fact that we had to get out in an hour. So that kind of was also part of our decision-making process of what we were going to bring to this gig. All right, we are getting close to starting. Uh, I wish I could say a bunch has changed, but I guess our stomachs are fuller. But other than that. We're just waiting to start the first dances. Uh, we got, we were provided with their, their devices here. Our music, so we are, the 32 hours got the RCA jacks back here, so I just plug those in. And then, uh, so that's 31 and 32, so I made them stereo. And just has the eighth out, eight inch, eighth inch jack out of the this Amazon thing, and they just turned the lights down some more. So I think we're getting close. Um, there's a set list. What are we starting with? Can't take my eyes off of me. All right. Cool. If you don't want to see me, then still will survive. Incidents and accidents, there were hints and allegations. Sing with us! 
This is the type of gigs that Stacy loves. Out in 55 minutes. Yes! <laughs> Can't the, they all be like this? Yeah, the truck is right here. That's where we were playing right there, so. Whew. Yeah, it's a beautiful night. So band did great. We'll give a recap here in just a couple minutes. Oh, is this tip money? Yep. Woohoo! We each got 20? Yep. Oh, take it. All right, yep. So this is where we were playing. It's, uh, yeah, one of those guys. On our way home from our wedding, and it's a sh short trip for us home, or less, probably less than a half hour, which is always appreciated. And so we'll be home relatively early. Tonight, you know, I think there was, there's a few things that, that um, take away from it all. Uh, ear fatigue uh, definitely uh, is, a, is an issue. And the last two nights, uh, the acoustics were not the best. And that just really wears on me uh, physically and mentally. And um, I guess the band had a lot of subs tonight, which they, they did well. Uh, but it just throws everything into kind of a not for example like there was a sub trumpet player <laughs> and you know here here's here's a tip and and I kind of kick myself for it now but he you know we had we brought up the mix that we used from the other night and the mic that he had was a lot hot hotter than the than the mic that we had the horn players provide their own microphones and he set the mic down and it took off screeching feedback and it just I felt you know it hurt me and it hurt everybody that was standing up there so I, I should have known and brought down the mix uh, that didn't help with ear fatigue for sure but um, the other thing I didn't wanted to bring up was the how, how well the band did the band leaders did on planning things um, a lot of weddings there's a there can be a lot of assumptions made as far as you know you hire the band and people just assume that they're gonna get all these add-ons you know like uh, microphones music and everything and I've been a long proponent that that should not be assumed and actually you know we have sound uh, sound pros we should be compensated for any of for our, the use of the gear and um, in our you know talent that we provide and that uh, you know our time is worth something for sure so the, the band did a really good job uh, prepping for this wedding in the sense that you know the house system was there and I think a lot of times people don't even ask that question and so I've done weddings or we have done weddings there where we're providing the, the sound for the speeches and um, the ceremony or whatever and the house system is there and I'm just you know I'm guessing it's complimentary if Ooh, they not, don't assume that well anyway we got out of a lot of work in the sense that yeah, there's two ways you could look at this. Either we got out of a lot of work or we missed an opportunity. Um, I'm gonna say the former. And uh, because I just don't think there's, you know, you're gonna get paid what, what you should, but I would just rather not get involved, and especially when they're wanting to cover the whole room. And this room was kind of broken up into two sections. So we couldn't have covered everything, or we would have had to make, uh, you know, we would have had to do more work, I guess. And generally, from my experience, the more work doesn't 
equal what they're willing to pay. So I'm fine with them doing the work. The other thing that they did a good job at is um, making us not be the DJs at break. Uh, yes. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm not a big fan of that. I, I, I get it, and we got lots of music, but um, I love just saying, here's 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 the tablet or the phone, and this is the what the bride and groom want to hear. And if anybody says anything to us, up, oh, it's not our deal. So I think that is also a really good thing is when we're supplied the music to play on break, then we're not put into that DJ role. But anyway, overall, a really good night. The bride and groom were happy. And, you know, it wasn't a huge wedding, but the people that were there stuck around and they, they had a good time. Yep. All right, we got a week off. Yay. And yeah, we need it, and we're gonna. Uh, yeah, we're back at it next weekend, but it's been a long, long week. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye.